This is a practice exercise from page 318 in the textbook. We're looking at calculating an enthalpy for a reaction from bond enthalpies. So the equation you want to remember is that the enthalpy of the reaction is going to be equal to the sum of the enthalpies of the bonds broken minus the sum of the enthalpies of the bonds formed. So what I like to do is I like to make a list of the bonds that are broken and the bonds that were formed. So my broken bonds are going to be in my reactants. And my formed bonds are going to be in the products. So on my side for the bonds that were broken, I go ahead and look at the Lewis structures and if they don't give you the Lewis structures in the problem, you should draw them yourself. And you should be able to see that we've broken two different types of bonds. We've broken a nitrogen-hydrogen bond and we've broken a nitrogen-nitrogen bond. And if you look carefully, we've actually broken one, two, three, four nitrogen-hydrogen bonds. So one, two, three, four of the same kind of bond. So I'm just going to put a four in front of here. And I've only broken one nitrogen-nitrogen bond because that's all I have. Okay, looking at the ones that I formed, I can see that there's a new nitrogen-nitrogen triple bond. And that there are new hydrogen hydrogen bonds. Specifically, there are two of them because I've got two molecules. All that's left for me to do is to look up these values in the chart and use that information to solve this problem. So looking at this chart, I know I need to find the nitrogen hydrogen bonds so I can see that those are here. Then I need to find nitrogen nitrogen single bonds. Those are down here. To find the nitrogen-nitrogen triple bond, I'm going to need to go down to the next section here. And I can see that that has an energy of 941 kilojoules. And the last one I need is the hydrogen-hydrogen single bond, and that's back up here at 436. So now I've got the four pieces of information I need. I'm ready to solve this problem just by plugging the numbers in. So again, remember, it's bonds broken minus bonds formed. So my delta H of the reaction... It's going to be equal to four nitrogen hydrogens, which were 391 kilojoules each, plus just one nitrogen nitrogen single, which is 163 kilojoules. And all of that is going to be subtracted from one nitrogen, nitrogen triple bond, which was 941 kilojoules added to two of my hydrogen hydrogens, which are 436 kilojoules. So if you do that math, you should get an answer of negative 86 kilojoules. So that is our estimation for the enthalpy of the reaction using the bond enthalpies. Again, this is pretty straightforward. Just follow along with that equation. Sum of the bonds broken minus the bonds formed. Remembering that the bonds broken are in the reactants, bonds formed are in the products. And make sure that you're considering how many of each type of bond. So it's not enough just to say that there is a broken nitrogen-hydrogen bond. You need to figure out that there are four of them. So those coefficients are going to be very important. Pay careful attention to those as you do the problem. And again, if they don't give you that Lewis structure, you'll just need to draw them yourself.